Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sopo and I am filming another sit down video for you today. Today we're going to be discussing one and only product and I have it straight in front of me and it is a face mask by Nourished 3. Um, I want to discuss this product in depth, like from all the ingredients that are listed on this package to the packaging, which is also part of the branding um, and what you pay for partially. But before I do that, I want to say a few words about the founder, who is actually to thank for that I found this uh, face mask at all. Uh, it is Annie Jeffrey, another YouTube out here, which I have been subscribed many years now. She has the most calming vibes. You have the stressful period in my life, what I could consume day and night is her content. She is one of the most organized persons that I've seen here out on YouTube. Uh, has also a very calming voice and always very good tips how to be the best version of yourself, how to be effective, how to be productive, how to eat healthy. Also proposes very, very good, easy nutritional ideas and creates lifestyle content always so bright and minimalistic and white and everything what I love about. Uh, so I have been obsessed with her many years and because I was always thankful to her tips and suggestions, um, I thought that I really needed to get on my hands on her product when she launched it last year. So um, I asked my girlfriends uh, for my birthday that that would be the thing that I would wish for myself for my birthday um, and they were kind enough to get it for me. Quickly for those ones who are shortly here but don't plan to watch the video until the very end I wanted to say that we are also having an ongoing giveaway for the skincare product. It's a pretty big bundle I would say. I'm going to link the video up here um, and put a picture as well as link the video in the description. So if you are not also already participating in this giveaway but are interested into this product, please check that video out. Follow the simple rules that are attached to that giveaway. I'm going to be very, very glad to see you participating in it. We just have to reach the small milestone of 500 followers and then the giveaway gets activated. I can finally choose the winner. Now, to get back to this product, I got this product together with uh, this little brush, sort of an applicator. You can see it better just like that. It has chrome handle and nourished three embossed on it. It looks very pretty. The brush doesn't shed. It is quite sturdy, but also very, very soft. So if you're someone who doesn't love to mess up with uh, skincare products with your fingers, I don't mind that to be very honest, but if you like to apply it with some type of applicators, but this is your thing, definitely. It washes off very quickly, dries very quickly, and really helps you to apply the product evenly on your face. This one costs separately 18 euro, but I've seen that she had many deals where the product was coming together with this brush in one bundle without any additional cost, so you might want to uh, wait that out and um, check when she is having such deals on her webpage. Just to put it short, because the product itself is um, 75 milliliter, which is not very little, um, and costs 65 euro. Um, it has a um, few ingredients already listed in, in front. You have 6% of alpha hydroxy acids and 1% of beta hydroxy acids, detoxifying clays and sulfur vitamin C, together with vitamin C, um, listed in front. So those are what the brand wants to put a emphasis on, but you have the full a list of ingredients on the packaging here. I love the full transparency about whatever they are putting in their products and we're gonna definitely go through that. Yeah, what can I say else? The packaging is absolutely beautiful, minimalistic as I could expect uh, from um, Annie and it has six months validity after you've opened the product. This is something to bear in mind as well. It is not a face mask that you use on a daily basis. Um, it is recommended to be used once a Per week and especially um, and preferably at night. This is because it has um, alpha hydroxy acids and beta hydroxy acids which support the detoxifying uh, and uh, resurfacing uh, qualities. Um, it might cause some sort of sensitivity against the sun so it is highly recommended to use the sunscreen or especially to use it at night. The description and the directions on the packaging itself says that um, they recommend to use it 
from two to three minutes on your face. You have to apply it on your dry, cleansed skin um, and gently rinse off uh, together with water to reveal a smoother and clearer face. I love it as well, they put uh, a disclaimer underneath saying that after applying this product and removing it from your face, you might observe a redness, which is a normal thing and you shouldn't be scared about. And then usually it should go away after 30 minutes. Um, this is something to as well check with your skin, how, how your skin is reacting to it. It also advertises itself being um, formulated without any alcohols and artificial colors. It is vegan friendly and consciously produced. Now let's talk about the packaging because I think when you're paying 65 euro for a face mask you're partially buying already the branding starting from the point how it comes from your doorstep to all the ingredients and to the effects that it has. It comes beautifully packed when you open um, the box you have sort of like a little lid uh, then you have this pretty lila colored paper um, which is sort of laying a ground sort of a bed where this product is lying inside it was looking very very pretty and was very lovely package to open on on a birthday if you are considering to give to this to someone else Let's talk about the ingredient list. We have quite quite lengthy list on the side of the packaging. And the first one which we have here is Hamamalis virginiana, which is a Latin word for the witch hazel. Um, and this is an ingredient that is highly disputed among the skincare um, community. And I don't wonder why they didn't put it amongst um, the ones that are sort of advertising the product in terms of an ingredient in front, but as well on the tube um, even though this is on the top of the list and we know that we're looking at the list so that whatever is on the top is the most important in terms of like proportion and ingredients and that doesn't mean that witch hazel is negative to be very honest the opinions are so divided i could not make any type of statement with regards to that i can only speak about my personal experience in using this product more than three months now i cannot observe any type of irritation on my skin uh, which i could attribute to using witch hazel still want to outline what are the discussions out there with regards to this ingredient for you to know and to decide for yourself and to go into the decision more consciously so um witch hazel is basically a derived clear liquid from um this plant which is called Hamamelis virginiana and is growing in North America but also in Asia. It's sort of like shrub formed flowering plant which has tons of antioxidants and one antioxidant group is called tannins and this is the uh, antioxidant group that is um, highly disputed as being potentially irritating to different skin groups because it sort of provides a film over the face um, which um, lays as like drying causing even more breakout um, in the end. Now it is said that the witch hazel is naturally containing 8 to 12 percent of tannins which is quite high percentage number. There is also talk about uh, the way it is distilled using by denatured alcohol uh, which is sort of an extract using 14 to 15 percent alcohol so on the one hand it is good that it is distilling the part of tannins which are said to be irritants but on the other hand uh, it contains alcohol of 14 to 15 percent which can cause some type of impairment and damage to the skin um, that being said there are tons of other um, articles uh, and experiences out there which speak about the antioxidant qualities but also uh, the acne um, fighting qualities of the witch hazel um, so by by being it a little bit drying on, on the face and removing the excess oils and providing the clearance in, in the pores um, it really supports the process of fighting against acne um, so this is something just that you need to know and decide for yourself if that's something which you want to draw the line and include in your skincare products or not but as for the rest of the ingredients i am very very impressed um, it contains um, cetereal alcohol which as i mentioned in other skincare videos is something that you actually should want in your skincare products it's not the type of alcohol that you would want to avoid it has very calming and soothing properties um, and is very very a positive thing to be seen in the ingredient list. It also has kaolin and bentonite which are said to be um, having um, a skin clarifying qualities especially that in the ingredient list you down there see as well sulfur and zinc which obviously support the deep cleanse um, uh, resulting in the clear complexion in your face. Also what I was really impressed uh, is to see so many diverse 
good good acids in there you have glycolic acid which obviously helps the resurfacing of the face removing all the dead skin cells though even here i have to mention it obviously depends on the percentage of the glycolic acid included in the product um for some people glycolic acid is a little bit too much and too stripping when it comes to dry skin especially and they could have sensitivity but uh, having very very dry skin i did not observe any of that on my case um, it also has um, salicylic acid which is obviously brilliant ingredient when it comes to deep cleansing of the pores um, it also has mandelic acid which doesn't penetrate as deep as the glycolic acid when it comes to the skin layers but still provides a gentle exfoliation to your face it has a citric acid um, it has sulfur as i mentioned it has Decapril ether, which is actually an ingredient which you see in many products um, But there are two versions of it which are based from synthetic and which are uh, based on um, animal uh, products and because this um, product is uh, vegan friendly obviously we can be convinced that this is a synthetic based uh, uh, ingredient um, and this is something that supports the smooth velvety finish when you apply the product and good absorption in the in the skin so nothing negative it also contains vitamin c which is a great thing to have when you're fighting against the hyperpigmentation left from the previous acne spots but also from the sun damage or just to brighten up the dull skin it also has very very good um, um, ingredients such as niacinamide um, supporting the hydration of the face and also has aloe vera and the jojoba seeds um, so all in all um, the ingredient list is impressive to the core and I'm not wondering why they called this face mask a multitasking face mask because all those ingredients sort of address the need, different needs like some of them providing the deep cleanse some of them providing the hydration some of them um, working against the pigmentation um, to be very honest I was always skeptical when it came to like all-in-one products because I did not really believe um, that uh, it could really work but applying this over three months now like once in a week i really really see a significant improvement especially when i apply this face mask and then sleep over it and wake up in the morning i really definitely can see the clear radiance which uh, comes from within as the packaging says itself it purifies resurfaces but at the same time recharges your face and that's exactly how i feel about it i also uh, saw some of the girls talking about like applying it longer than recommended on the packaging itself that it worked for them but um in my particular case when i apply this on my face and leave it over uh, three minutes long i already start um feeling the tingling from underneath and I just don't want to push it through to the edge and have bad experience that's why I'm putting always the timer and removing it on, on time I still have light redness on my face left for the minutes to come but um, it never really exceeded more than 10 minutes and my face went back to its normal color all in all to end this video I think uh, this product is absolutely brilliant it is definitely not cheap, I have to put it out there, but I think it is justified, bearing in mind what you get for it. When you look at the ingredient list, it is absolutely impressive. Uh, it is clinically proven um, that all those ingredients are supporting for a clearer, brighter, um, more hydrated skin. Um, it has multitasking effects, how well it works, you have to just test for yourself. I can only talk about my experience, it has been very very good and very very positive so far but i also absolutely love that um, when you are going on the nourished three page they talk about not only about the product itself but also about the inner nourishment and the mental well-being and how it contributes to the skin that absolutely reflects how annie jeffrey the founder of this product is herself um, and i love that she's not selling you the concept that with this one product you can resolve the other um, problems that you might be having um, in your life if you're not in the right mental state if you're not um, feeding yourself properly no product out there will um, compensate for that this product has definitely a big thumbs up from me um, let me know if there is any questions that you would have with regards to this product i'm gonna do my best to answer it anyhow i'm gonna say bye for now and if you're new here please don't forget to like and subscribe and stay on board maybe as well take part in the 
giveaway is mentioned earlier and I'm gonna see you in my next one.